Welcome, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to make a quilt that will fit in a nice narrow space or even on a door. I am also going to introduce you to PolyDraw so you can see some of the advantages of this powerful tool within Electric Quilt. Okay, I've opened Electric Quilt and I'm going to select New Project and I'm going to label this Stars and Stripes and I will select OK. Now I'm going to view my project sketchbook and I'm going to go to the fabrics and I'm going to go ahead and clear out all my existing fabrics and close. And then I'm going to search fabric swatches and for this project I decided I wanted some red, white, and blue so I thought it might be fun to use uh, one of the online stashes. Um, I have the 2018 uh, collection. Riley Blake had a couple of great red, white, and blue collections. So I'm going to select that one, select all fabrics, and add to the sketchbook. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create a quilt. So I'm on the quilt work table. If I'm at the home screen, I will select uh, design a quilt from scratch. And I'm going to select a new quilt on point. And I'm going to go to the layout tab and I'm going to change it to three blocks horizontal and one block vertical. And I'm going to change the size of the blocks to 4 inches. Then I'm going to go to the border tab and I'm going to delete the border. Now I'm going to go to the design tab and I'm going to select set block and then navigate to the variable star block. And with the control or the command key I'm going to populate the center squares. Now for the other squares, I'm going to uh, create a rail fence block. So I'm going to select the block work table and I'm going to do a new block pieced, easy draw block, and I'm going to uh, set the grid to four columns by one row. And I'm going to go from the upper left corner to the lower right corner and then I can color. And I'll use a red in two of the pieces and a beige in the other two and I will add that to the project sketchbook. So now I'm going to go back to the quilt work table. I'm going to use the set block. I'm going to take that rail fence and I'm going to use the control key and set it in all of these alternate squares. Now I'm going to use the rotate block so I'm going to fix the stripe placements. And then I'm going to color those uh, variable stars. And I'm going to use the fussy cut to place these particular items in the center of the blocks. Now I decided I'm going to add a pointy end to both of the blocks. And so I'm going to go back to the block work table and I'm going to new, do a new block pieced poly draw block. And for this one I am going to set the block width and height to 4 inches. I'm going to set my graph paper to 4 by 4 and under the drawing tools I am going to select rectangle and I'm going to set that to 4 by 4 and so I'm going to use the polyline tool just double click to start single click go down single click and double click to end and then I'm going to do that for uh, the other three rails but I'm only going to complete a half block. And notice that wherever you start, you need to finish. So my starting point and my finish points, which all must be double clicks, are always the same point. And then I'm going to go to the color tab and I'm going to go ahead and color this block as well and add it to the project sketchbook. 
Now I'm going to go back to the quilt work table and I'm going to go to layer two. And on layer two, I'm going to go to the block tools, set block, and I'm going to take this particular block and I'm going to drag that onto the workspace. Now I'm going to select flip block. And once I do that, I'm going to do a rotate two times. And then I'm going to select it with the adjust tool and under block rotation, because this rotation actually moves it within the space, but I don't have a 45 degree option. So under block rotation, I'm going to put 45 and that's going to now rotate that block and I can move that into position. Now, depending on where this is at, I'm going to change the grid snap increments. I wanna turn on snap block position to grid and now that's going to snap into position. Now what I want to do is select this still with the adjust tool and under the single select options I'm going to select copy followed by paste. And for this I'm going to rotate it. Uh, I'm going to first of all flip it and then I'm going to rotate it Two time, three times and let me zoom back out here. So I'm going to do a fit to work table with the adjust tool, select that and move this up here. Now when you look at this one there's a little bit of a gap and that's because I have this on point setting. So in order to fix that I'm going to turn off my snap block position to grid and I'm just going to now move that over so the points match up. And let me do another fit to work table. Go back to my fabric tools and I'm going to just uh, swap out those particular fabrics. And now I can even decide if I want to make some other adjustments. So I could, instead of this, uh, uh, this print, I could do a swap color. And once I have something I like, I can add it to the project sketchbook. Thanks so much for watching. For additional tips and techniques, please subscribe to my weekly newsletter at www.onpointquilter.com. And while you are there, check out my other Electric Quilt 8 online classes.